What's up, guys? Nick from the Average Biker Garage, back with another episode of the Average Biker Podcast. Today, we are doing our second builder feature um, in our partnership with the Wild Stallions Motorcycle Build. Last week, we ran the first feature uh, featuring Mac Blank, and this week, the second builder is Frank Grimes out of Defiance, Ohio. Now, if you guys aren't following along yet with the Wild Stallions motorcycle build, be sure to go over there and check it out. I'll have links in the description for their uh, Facebook and Instagram pages. Uh, I believe we're still looking for a final builder. I'm not 100% on that. I know Eric, (laughs) Eric, Derek, sorry, Derek, Uh, Eric, (laughs) God damn. I know Derek wanted to round it out at 10 just to make sure that we had everybody um, had enough builders in case, you know, someone drops out or whatnot. So uh, last I knew we were still looking for a 10th builder. If you are interested, uh, hit him up on either the Facebook or the Instagram page and he'll be in touch with you. So um, with all that being said, uh, let's get into our interview with Frank Grimes. All right, so uh, let me get your uh, name, age, and location. I'm Frank Grimes from Defiance, Ohio. I'm 33 years old. Oh yeah, I got I got family over there in Defiance. Really? Yeah, yeah. My sister in law lives over there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I got other family up in uh, Stryker. Okay, I would say the Carlin name. That's kind of <laughs> more Stryker Brian that area. I've heard it up there before. Yeah, yeah. My mom's originally from Stryker, and that's where my okay. grandparents lived. And I still got an aunt that lives over there. But yeah, okay. we're yeah. You hear any Carlin names over there? We're all related somehow. I'm not yeah, yeah. not real sure on the family tree, but yeah, we're all there. Okay. Uh, so um, when uh, when did you get into motorcycles? I've been into it pretty well my whole life, but really got pretty hardcore, if you want to call it that, about four or five years ago. Yeah. The, uh, my first, my first on the road motorcycle was a Honda rebel 250. So came nice. a long way since that. Oh, those are, uh, great bikes to, you know, use as your first bike. Yeah. I, I thought it was the coolest thing ever for uh, the year I had it. And then I rode a friend of mine, Sportster and I'm like, all right. Yeah. So the rebel's not as cool as I thought it was. Ah, uh, there, I dig them. Uh, was it one of the older ones? Yeah, it was a 84. Gotcha. Yeah. So it was like a, looked like a little mini Harley then. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't even, it was kind of rusty. It was just kind of a, yeah, it was a good starter motorcycle. We'll put it that way. Right. No, uh, it's the, uh, shadow VLX, uh, 600s. Those are good starter bikes too. I like, I like those. Okay. That's, what I, that's what I built last year for, uh, the show. So 250, how old were you when you, um, started riding? 18, I was 18 years old. You were 18. Yeah. Uh, had, had you rode, um, dirt bikes or anything before oh, that? I had dirt bikes growing up as a kid, all that stuff. Uh, I wanted to buy when I was 16 years old, I wanted to buy, it was one of the old Kawasaki triples and my dad wouldn't let me buy it. And I couldn't figure out why, but I didn't know anything back then. And yeah, as I got older, like, yeah, I probably would have killed myself on that thing. Right. That's, uh, yeah, my son wants, uh, what, uh, Kawasaki, he wants a 600. And I said, nah, for your first one, you can get a, you know, a, a 300 or 250 crotch rocket. He yeah. likes the sport bikes. I don't know why. But yeah, that's the, the 600s are a little, little big. I've never really had to. Closest thing to a crotch rocket I had, I borrowed a buddy's Buell for a couple weeks one time, and it just wasn't, it wasn't really my thing. Was it um, the lightning or the little blast? Cyclone. Okay. It had the 1200 Sportster motor in it. The other thing was, it was crazy fast, but it just wasn't comfortable. No, that's, I rode, um, I worked at a buddy's, it was a Kawasaki, it was was a 1000cc bike. And I rode it 
Oh, I rode it a mile down the road and I was like, yeah, no, this isn't, this isn't for me. My back and elbows started cramping up right away. Yeah. I don't, they're not comfortable bikes. So what do you, but that's about it. (laughs) Yeah. And I mean, I don't really care about going fast. So, so what is your, um, current stable of bikes? What do you, what do you have right now? I've got my, it was kind of my, it was my first big twin. I bought an 04 night train. Oh, back 2020. And we ended up first year we went to Sturgis was 2021. I knocked the main bearing out of it. So we ended up redoing the whole motor, uh, put an S and S crank in it, changed it over to Evo style, that Timken bearing, um, threw a bunch of go fast stuff at it, repainted it. That's, that's always kind of my baby, but, uh, I've got a 76 shovel head in a pile. I got a 77 shovel hardtail. That was kind of my daily rider bike this year. I got a 1950 pan. I'm building a long bike out of, I got various parts and pieces projects going on all over the place. Hell yeah. That sounds like a good collection. Somebody told me it was better than drugs, but I think drugs would be cheaper sometimes. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. So what, uh, what's the, your favorite, you said your night train's kind of your baby. Is that, you know, what's the favorite? Kind of my baby, just, um, that's gotta be, it's between that and my pan head. I mean, I, it's, it's something I never thought I'd ever have when we started messing around with this stuff. We, me and dad, we didn't even know if we'd ever be able to come up with a shovel together, but now we've got between me and him, we've got five or six of them in the shop, but we, uh, it was my night train was the first bike. I guess if you want to say I built it, um, just changed everything up the way I wanted to, you know, painted it, you know, special color, what I wanted. It was just kind of the first one I actually got to make my own. Right. That makes sense. So how you said you got just the single pan. Yeah. Yep. How long have you had that? Um, about two years, uh, that started, that whole thing started off. Um, when we started, decided to start building choppers, I bought a rec soft tail frame and I was originally going to put an Evo in it because it was available. And back then when I started, you know, money wasn't out there. Like not saying I'm loaded now, but, and then I ended up swapping the Evo motor for this pan motor, but it had a shovel top end on it when I bought it. And I ended up finding another pan motor where the bottom end was just obliterated so i had the top end to make my to make my pan motor back the way it was supposed to be so kind of pieced it back together that kind of thing just kind of adds it gives it a cool story i guess right well, that's how i was gonna say pan heads are aren't easy to come by anymore no they're out there every once in a while one will pop up um yeah we just uh I, dad bought his 56 that way just kind of it was one of those things one day it just kind of showed up fell in our lap more so but yeah they're they're not as prevalent as the shovel heads that's for sure right great yeah i see i see a lot of shovels cruising through you know marketplace and stuff like that and um a couple of groups on facebook it's we don't see them out though i mean that's kind of the disappointing thing we kind of we fell in love with the older bikes the last couple of years at Sturgis. I think this year, of course, me and dad, we were both riding shovels, but I don't know if we saw 25 shovels the whole week we were out there. Well, out in Sturgis? Yeah. Well, Sturgis is really, isn't exactly the chopper. It's not, yeah, it's not what it used to be. We, we, we did find some cool bikes. That's we do usually every year, but. Yeah, out riding around and stuff. It was always neat. We'd find some other, you know, there was actually a kid my age riding, was that 81 Super Glide or something? That was kind of cool. Well, yeah, yeah. Sturgis has kind of turned into, uh, let's trailer our baggers out there. And, you know. yeah, I mean, we, we're guilty too. We haul out there, but 
you know, 1,050 miles on a shovel head. That's, that's a lot of miles. Right. Yeah. No, I rode out there <laughs> shit on, uh, 95 Honda Shadow 1100 when I was 17. Okay. Yeah, that was. We took a family trip out there back when I was 17. So, it, it's but, on our bucket list. We're gonna one of these years. We're gonna ride out there. Just we just haven't done it yet. It's not bad. In the middle of the country, Iowa and Nebraska and shit's boring. But yeah, yeah, uh, you yeah. get out South Dakota. There's nothing from Sioux Falls to Rapid City. It's just miles of nothing right and then you come over that hill and there's the black hills and that's that's cool as shit yep. yeah then you're there yep so all right um jumping to the wild stallions build you are a um builder in the competition that's what we're doing here builder profile pretty stoked about it uh i just found it scrolling through facebook one that you one day a month or so ago, and I sent uh, Derek, I believe, a message about it. I'm like, well, if you're here, here's kind of where we're at, and I guess I was lucky enough to land a spot. Yep. Let's. Yeah, well, I think we're we're still trying to fill. He wants to get ten builders. We got nine right now. But yeah, it's so you you were just uh, cruising through Facebook and saw him post an ad up and said, well, I'm gonna just yeah. try it out. Yeah, they said they were looking for builders. Like, well, shoot, we'll throw my hat in the ring in there, see what happens. Yeah, so you hadn't heard about it last year then? No, this was this is the first I'd heard about it. Gotcha. Like, around Thanksgiving, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that was when he had started. It. He, he told me he was going to start posting again and start posting in all the groups, sharing everything. So, so I, um, uh, what ultimately made you decide to sign up for it? Just, just the the thrill of it. I mean, it's one of those things that I guess, and maybe I'm completely wrong, but it's something that not everybody in the world gets to do. Um, I guess just the experience of being a part of it was kind of what drew me to it. Right. And I can speak. You know, being at it last year, it was it was very cool. Very cool to, you know, get a magazine and open it up and see you know not not only your picture but you know i think i don't know if derek's going to do it this year or rj's going to have us do it this year but we had to write um like an introduction paragraph you know kind of like what we're doing here but we just you know and send it to the magazine but very cool getting the magazine and open it up and seeing you know words that you wrote right there and there's your picture yeah. next to it it's like oh shit yeah, that that would be pretty cool. It's it's a unique experience for sure. So, uh, obviously, you've built bikes before, right? Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. We're uh, I'm on my four, third or fourth one somewhere in there, two and a half, three. I got I have one, and it's just kind of an evolving thing. I pull it in the shop every three or four months, and then decide I want to change this or change that. So. I don't know if that's really a considered a build i, I don't it's we call it the blue bastard because it's just i bought it because it was kind of i don't know it, it's kind of ugly but i fell in love with it and yeah we just every once in a while it's like all right well we're gonna do this with it right now and that kind of thing gotcha well i mean they're never really done are they um well it all depends uh I got two of them. Uh, the one I plan on building for this uh, contest, it's basically going to be a ground up thing. Like there's really nothing to it right now. So that one will be once it's done, that one will probably get left alone. Kind of you want to you give away what you're building? Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. That's I asked Derek. I was like, you want to tell what they're building? He's like, if they want to. It's starting now as... Um, it's a 76 uh, FX. Uh, was a factory kick only bike. Um, I got a frame and most of a motor. That's what I've got. Do you, so that, do you, uh, you think that's be where? To... Oh, yeah. Yep. We got, uh, I was looking around trying to figure everything out. And yeah, we should be able to finish it up pretty easily. For the route that we're going to take with it, it's going to be super cool, but it's not going to be like building a long bike where we're going to have 
you know, six, seven weeks of framework, that kind of thing. Yeah. So you, you'll be able to complete it in time to have it yeah. show. Yep. All right. Yeah. And this, uh, this is going to be an undertaking, but we, we should be, should be good to go. You gonna, you gonna ride it all the way up there? Planning on it. Yeah. Really? So is it yes. going to be hard tail then? No, I'm going to leave it a swing arm frame. Are you? Okay. Just, I was gonna... just so I can, because, uh, I got some, uh, progressive, 412s with the big chrome coil over springs and i just want that that shiny i don't know kind of adds the sketchy factor i think when you just got this giant spring hanging off the side oh that sounds like it'll, it'll be cool that's I, yeah i know last year i had i had planned on riding mine up there but um unfortunately the shadows with my big ass on them they don't like to go over you know 60 miles an hour so and being two and a half hours away, I was like, yeah, hardtail at you know fifty miles an hour all the way there. I think I'll just trailer it. Yeah, if it's. I mean, if it's pouring down rain or something, we probably probably won't ride up. But if the weather's good, that's the goal. We're gonna ride up there. Gotcha. I think it's around three three and a half hours from here. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I figured it'd be a little bit longer because Defiance is just south of me about an hour or so 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 have you have you ever entered a build competition before is this this will be your first this, this is the first we went to some shows and stuff but it was just you know we would just like write in show that kind of thing never you know anything leading up to it so that's that adds a whole new cool factor to it right and that's well, being in this area i guess me and you're really you know, kind of in the same area. There aren't, I don't know of at least any really uh, shows around here. I know Hudson Leather over there has one Memorial Day and Labor Day. And then. Yeah, we usually hit that one just because it's local and we want to, we like to support the local stuff. Um, well, it's not really a show, but uh, we go to the 469 bike night. We go to oh. pretty much every well, every one of those we go to that that they have for the most part. I think we missed two last year. Do you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Big Mike down there. He's a great guy. Yeah, he is. Uh, we ended up. Uh, they had a vintage bike night at the uh, Fort Wayne Harley back in October. I think it was. Okay. Um, was that? I wasn't happy about that because she wanted to go and. I said, well, we're not taking the new bike to vintage bike night. So she had to ride to Fort Wayne on the back of the hard tail. And she said that that was, that was plenty. <laughs> yeah, that, ooh, that's a rough ride. Yeah. Yeah. She said that was enough, uh, enough hard tail for her. So. <laughs> yeah, I think, I don't know if that was the one. I know I saw Joker Cycle Works. It was talking about a show down in Fort Wayne. I think that. That might have been right around October. It was a vintage show. Um, I don't remember. There was something at Mitchell Sports Bar too. We didn't. We didn't make that one. Gotcha. Yeah, I know. It's just there's just not really a lot around here, you know, as far as the chopper scene goes. Yeah. Um. We usually we started going down to Iron Pony a couple years ago, but I mean that's clear down Columbus. They've got a thing uh, middle of August usually. Uh, we went to Bike Week at, uh, up at Sandusky. That was kind of cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. That's a you been to that one? Yeah, we went this year. It was our first year up there. We went for the show, and that was that was pretty neat. I mean that brings stuff in from you know, all over the state or into Michigan, I'm sure too. And there was some. There was some top-notch stuff there. It was pretty cool. Oh, that's that's a week long, isn't it? I think so. A week or ten days, something like that. Okay. I'm gonna say yeah. It's, I wasn't sure if it was. Is it called Bike Week? Yeah, it's Ohio Bike Week. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was called something else, but yeah, I've heard heard about it. Heard that it was pretty uh, decent turnout. I think there was there was over a hundred bikes in the show that saturday we were there gotcha so um part of this competition and what derek 
uh, last year you wanted to um, kind of show was that, you know, we're all just average guys and we have families and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, so how do you think you're going to be able to get this done and finish this build while also fulfilling your roles as a, you know, husband, father, son, brother? Oh, we would just, uh, that's something me and dad kind of do. He's actually working on his own, like at the, at the moment, but uh, we just kind of, I don't know. We've just made it work all this time. It's just, uh. Yeah, I go to the shop for a few hours, you know, two, three days a week. And usually Saturday is my big shop day. And then Sunday is the big family day kind of thing. Um, my wife will run around with her sister. So Saturday, we kind of do our own thing. And then Sunday, we all just, you know, we'll get together, go for a ride or do whatever. So we, we already kind of got the whole mix of everything. Just going to kind of keep doing what we're doing. Gotcha. Uh, is your, your dad going to end up helping you out on your build then? Um, I don't know. I don't know that I want him to. <laughs> it's not that my dad doesn't do good work. He's he's right there. Uh, we pretty much everything I've learned, I've learned from him. But we're if you looked at bikes that I've built and bikes that he's built, you wouldn't believe they came out of the same shop. We're just two different we get styles. Along great. Way yeah, way <laughs> different. Um, he's into he's done some pretty crazy stuff with his frames and I'm not so much. I'm more of the simple, you know, let's put the fancy stuff somewhere else. And yeah, he's, he's done some wild stuff. Um, we, of course, you know, either one of us do something, Hey, come over here and need you to help do this or help do that. Like we twisted the down tubes on a 73. That was a, that was a job. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was completely, I don't know. It's not my thing, but it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. The twisted steel. Yeah. He, yeah. He wended up, he twisted the, the down tubes going clear up to the neck. It was, I wasn't sure it was going to work, but it did. I mean, it's, he's got six or 7,000 miles on that frame now and it's still holding up. Wow. Well, that's very cool, man. And that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I've got for you. So, uh, okay. Thanks, thanks for coming on and shooting the shit with me. And I'm uh, looking forward to meeting you in person and seeing what all you build. Absolutely. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be exciting. I'm pretty stoked to be a part of it. So, well, I'm looking I'm forward to, have to you, seeing what everybody else uh, what everybody else comes up with as well. I mean, that's part of the the fun of this stuff is just seeing, you know, what what everybody else comes up with because you know my idea cool and your idea cool might be two different things, but just to appreciate the work that goes into everything too. I mean, your average guy will just see a cool motorcycle, but if you look at it, I'm seeing, you know, there's a lot of hours that somebody put into that to make that happen. Right. And there's a lot of, I, I, the build I did last year, there's a lot of hours on shit that nobody will ever even see, you know? And that's, that's the thing. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at taking compliments. I guess it's just weird for me. But last year at the show, I had, I had people coming up and that's really cool. And that's really cool. And I'm standing there like, yeah, but I, I, you know, that thing right there is fucked up and I know that it's fucked up. And I mean, nobody else knows that. Yeah. You're, you're, you're your own worst critic. That's for sure. I've noticed that on other stuff because you know where the flaw is because, well, you built the flaw in there. if you Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, you got anything you want to plug, man? You you got a shop? Uh, no, <laughs> it's just just me. We don't uh, we don't really have anything. We're just you know building the stuff out of our garage. Gotcha. Uh, Instagram or anything like that? Uh, no, not really. Just kind of just an. <laughs> don't have anything cool to add to this, I All guess. Right. Well, hopefully, you know, you build a really cool bike and you get some exposure, and somebody you know was like, hey. Will you build me a bike and then that that'll lead to something. Yeah, maybe we'll see what happens. I know we're playing around right now with uh with custom tail lights trying to make some different stuff. That kind of started out we get stuck on, you know, I'll get something in my head or something and 
you can't buy it so you got to make it and yeah so we're, we're playing around with the market there to see if everybody else thinks what we think is cool is cool that kind yeah. of thing so i'm sure somebody somewhere thinks it's cool so yeah that's kind of me and dad have been playing around with that just to see kind of what we can come up with because you know nobody's really made it off the wall taillight since uh ron finch okay uh i i believe he's from up in the owasso area i think uh i think north side of detroit yeah yep yeah because i think i pretty sure Derek was saying last year that he was local to the area. So, mm. and, um, maybe we can have Derek pull some strings and tell him to get, bring his ass out there and check out our bikes. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's built some pretty, pretty wild stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There's some wild shit out there, man. Yeah, Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, again, I look forward to meeting you in person and seeing what you build. Yeah, same here. Take care. All right. See you, man. Yeah, we'll see you.